Hello! Today we're going to look at how to increase the inner diameter of this washer here and use it to fix this base neck. So this is an old base that I've had for a long time, but the neck has collapsed forward quite a bit, making it just about unplayable. What we're going to need to do is shim the truss rod so we can have a little more adjustment to pull the neck back and bring it into a good shape again. So to do that, we're going to need to take this washer, which is a 5 sixteenths of an inch outer diameter washer, and we're going to need to increase the inner diameter to about five millimeters so that we can fit that on the truss rod and therefore shim it up to make hopefully a playable guitar. Let's see what we need. So we're going to go ahead and use here just a scrap piece of wood, and that's going to be our base that we're going to be drilling into. We're gonna use a step bit here because this is uh, gonna allow us to get an exact size that we'll need for the removal of material from the washer. Got a few screws here, so we're gonna use these to hold down the washer onto the wood. And there are actually two ways that you can do this. One is you can use a drill press, which I find is safer and easier, but you can also use vice grips and a drill. Let's get started. The first step here is we're going to create our base. What we're going to need to do here is take the washer, place that into a nice area on our scrap piece of wood, and then we're going to draw a circle. We're going to draw this circle here around the washer, and that will give us the outline of the washer. From here, what we can do is we're going to then go ahead and mark up three holes, which we're then going to drill out to where we're going to put these screws, and these screws are going to go in to hold that washer in place on our scrap board. What we're going to do here is take our board that we have drawn our pattern of our washer on, and we've also marked up a Y pattern with these points where we're going to drill some holes. When we drill these holes, we want to make sure that we're not drilling into that outline of the washer because we want to be able to fit the washer inside of those three screws. Let's drill it. All right, we're all set. Don't forget safety glasses. And let's get to drilling. Excellent. We now have those three holes drilled for the screws. Let's go ahead and screw our screws in here. And after we have two in, we're going to put the washer in. This will make sure that our fit and hold is good. I like to fine tune with a handheld driver. With our washer nicely secured to our board here, we can now get to increasing the inner diameter. Let's go back to the drill press. Back at the drill press here, we have the board aligned in our drill press vise. You could also hold it by hand. Then we wanted to perfectly align the center hole of this washer with the center here of the step bit. Now that that's aligned nicely, we're gonna go down just three steps on the step bit here. And that should give us just about five millimeters. You're gonna to want to have your drill press somewhere around a thousand or so RPMs. Let's get to it. Kind of go slow and steady, in and out just a little bit here so that you can go ahead and remove the material from the workpiece. Now let's go ahead and take it off of our sacrificial board here and see what the outcome is. Well, this looks like it came out great. We can see that the inner diameter has increased. 
and it looks just about perfectly centered as well. Let's go ahead and remove the washer from our board here. If you have a file, you can use that to somewhat clean up any burrs that might be on there. We can see here the difference between the original size and the new size. Now, as I would mentioned in the beginning, we can also do this with a drill. We don't need a drill press. You've got two options with the drill. One is the vice grips. The other is we can use this scrap piece of wood and the screws as a mount to hold it in. We're going to go ahead and use the vice grips in here to demonstrate that. What you'll want to do is size your grips to the size of the washer here to hold it nicely in place. You don't want too much pressure on the vice grips here. You want just enough to hold it steady because you don't want to bend the washer. Let's go ahead and drill it out now. Don't forget safety glasses again. Here we can see the three washers. The one on the left side is the washer that we enlarged the inner diameter with the drill press. The one in the center is the original size. And the one on the right is the washer that we enlarged with the hand drill. Now that we've got those washers reamed out, the outer diameter will fit within our truss rod channel here, and we can use them as spacers to provide some extra pressure here to try to fix the relief of this base neck. Hopefully, we can make it play very well again. Come back next time for more interesting fun tips and how-tos on music and wood.